There's perhaps no number more iconic in college football than number 44 at Syracuse University. Syracuse University officially declares the number 44 retired. It's written all over the school, in the phone number, zip code, on the field of the JMA Wireless Dome, and in the rafters. 44 is everywhere you look, except on a current athlete's back. It's one of those things where Syracuse alumni see that number and they instantly feel this connection. On the gridiron, number 44 was Jim Brown, Ernie Davis, and Floyd Little. On the hardwood, 44 was Derek Coleman and John Wallace. The orange 44 was last seen on Wallace's back in the 1996 Final Four. In 1998, fullback Rob Conrad was the last player to wear 44 on the football field. Man, that number means so much to me. You got guys like uh, Ernie Davis, Floyd Little. Um, it, it's an honor. Those guys paved the way for guys like me and uh, for the next generation. But now the 44 comes out of retirement and not without controversy. Transfer center Eddie Lampkin wore number 44 at Colorado. Now as a senior with one year of college eligibility left, Lampkin plans to wear 44 in orange. Any number that's retired up in the rafters should never be worn again. They do it at other colleges, why not at Syracuse? The mixed emotions and debate among Orange fans and alumni reflect the feelings of some of SU's all-time greats. I say retire the number, you know what I mean? Those guys, like I said, they paved their way, they, they did their time, and uh, I don't think it should be worn again. Those of us that played for that number, we played, we heard the stories of Ernie Davis, you know, that number is really important to us, and uh, I never thought it should have been taken off the shelf. It's a, it's a vital piece of recruiting. You can go, I mean, it's a, if, if that's what a, a young man is looking for in college, and he wants to be a part of a legacy like that, I mean, there's no better number. A number doesn't make a man, a man makes a number. You know, and, uh, and Jim Brown and Derek Holman and John Wallace really made that number, but if Syracuse can use it as a recruiting tool, you know, it's a great thing. As long as there's an appreciation and an understanding for, for what that number means to, to the alumni base, to the fans, and to the institution, um, I think that's really what's important, is that the number continues to be respected. Whatever that looks like, I think that's really what, what matters most. There are currently no known plans to have any SU football player wear number 44, but with Fran Brown as one of college football's top recruiters, you have to wonder if it's only a matter of time. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Ashley Winskowski.